This is Blair from QEbox, and I'm speaking with Sharon, who's the designer of EcoBags. And I guess my first question was, how did you actually start your bag company? Uh, we started our bag company in 1989 because I personally was looking for uh, cloth bags to bring to the store and couldn't find any, so we just started making our own, sourcing our own but and making our own. What did you make it out of initially? Uh, well, our first product actually was the Echo Bag Signature String Bag. It's really a basic uh, European filet bag, which is the netted bag. Um, the idea being we wanted something that could crunch down, fit in a back pocket, purse, glove compartment, whatever, and then expand to hold as much as you could possibly carry. And that's the mm -hmm. traditional bag that was used in Europe for generations before the introduction of paper and then plastic bags. Oh, so we went to Europe it? first for inspiration. Oh, wow. And have you always yeah. lived an eco-friendly life? Um, more or less, yeah. I mean, we've always lived a, um efficient life, if you mm -hmm. want to call it that. So that actually leads to being more, uh, to being greener uh, in terms of, you know, always buying foods that were not packaged because the better foods are not packaged and always cooking at home or cooking at home as much as possible. And then when I had kids, raising them um, with the best possible foods available. Um, my kids were a little bit pre-Whole Foods, so, mm -hmm. you know, and we, but we still were going to Whole Foods stores and whatnot back then. Oh, and I know, so you said you developed it kind of like the late 80s, early 90s, um, and this was obviously before the whole Go Green movement. Do yeah. You, how did more public awareness change your line, and were you well received at first? At first, well received. I wouldn't say we were not well received, but we were well received by a really small uh, group mm -hmm. of people. We were in that beginning growth phase of the natural foods industry, so we would go to the natural foods conferences and meet a lot of people like ourselves who were just starting out with natural and organic products. Um, just about every brand that you can see on the shelf now, we were at the shows with the starters of those companies, the founders. Um, oh, wow. And then, yeah, I mean, I, we existed. I use Whole Foods as my pointer just because everybody knows them, but we were around before Whole Foods had really taken root. We were um, in the very beginning of Burt's Bees. We were out there with and meeting these people, you know, um, Muir Glen, um, you name it, you know, all these Eden Soy even, way, way back when. So then as the movement really started taking off, because it really in many ways is a movement, um, mm -hmm. we were growing alongside of them. Oh, and I know you said you got inspiration obviously from Europe, but you know you have like tons of different designs of your bags on the website. Where do you get other inspirations from for different designs? Yeah, well, the original bags were the idea of, the original string bag was from Europe, which is the expandable net, then of course people would come to us and say, well, wait a minute, I don't need things that just because I'm walking in an urban area, I live in a suburban area, why don't you do um, this shape bag or that shape bag, and why don't you do a canvas bag? And then customers came to us and said, we really want our bags in recycled materials, so we sourced that. So, And then we were at the very front also of the organic cloth uh, fabric movement. Um, Mm -hmm. Customers came to us and we said, so we want to buy things in organic. So most of our shapes and sizes were driven by customer requests. Oh, wow. You and just responding to customers. And then we've, we've done some fun things and partnered with some really great graphic people. And now at this point we're pulling from outside as well as inside. We have a number of people on our team who are graphically inclined. So we're, they're designing bags as well. Uh, so do they do more of like the totes with quotes? Yeah, that we want to us with quotes. Yeah, actually, our our strategic marketing and fun uh, VP, that's her title, uh, she came up with <laughs> Make Love Not Carbon, so we put a graphic to that. that and then <laughs> Rhea Nelson, who's in our office, came up with Talk Green to Me, uh, so we designed that one. Um, the uh, Go, you know, local and global uh, slogan, that actually came to us from a lot of farmer's markets who wanted a generic. Um, and mm -hmm. then... The bags that we did with Do Something, uh, that was actually bags that we partnered with them on, supporting their a fundra fundraising effort they were doing for Zetopia, which is a huge rock event in New Jersey. Um, so oh, yeah, I saw something on that. Yeah, yeah. So they drove that that particular graphic. I mean, the thing about a canvas bag is it's blank canvas, so it's a really good quality bag, and the surface is perfect for printing or drawing on. And what was your, I know you've been in some really big magazines. What was your reaction the first time you saw one of your bags? 
somewhere really in like a on television or in magazines or something like that. This is great. It's always great. It's always great to get acknowledgement from the press and to see that as a small company, you know, we're growing, but we're still, you know, small in the world of large businesses to see that we can uh, get ink right alongside some of the the giants. I mean, just yesterday we were featured in OK Magazine alongside, um, or right under, I should say, a big picture of Oprah, who, and they were talking about something she's doing. So <laughs> we're sharing the page with some really, you know, wonderful people. Oh, wow. And do you have any future plans to kind of showcase the bags on different television shows or kind of just take it as it comes? Always always trying and always taking it as, it as it comes. I mean, my daughter, actually, who's in Australia right now, saw our bags on uh, on a friend segment. Somebody else saw them on a Gossip Girl segment. Uh, so they appear here and there. I know we just got some calls into the office the other day from people working on the new Meryl Streep movie. 